Super Mario Maker 2 introduced a bunch of cool new features to add in our custom levels and most of those things come from various Mario games from the past. Boom Boom, Slopes, Seesaws are all things we've seen in previous Mario games. But there's also a couple of new things that we've never seen before that are now available for us to use. And one of those new original power up is the Dry Bone Shell. Tap a dry bone and turn it into an upside down shell and Mario can now hop aboard it and bounce his way around. You can now float on lava and poison water and that's pretty neat. But there's actually a lot more that can be done with that new power up. Hey, I'm Nico and here are 10 creative ways of using the dry bone shell in your Mario Maker 2 levels. There's tons of things that Mario can jump on, but there's still a couple of enemies and hazards that are way too strong for him. And once Mario hops aboard the dry bone shell, then the sky is the limit, as this thing can protect you from pretty much everything, as long as you jump on top of it, that is. A cool thing to do is to give out some dry bone shell and put a whole lot of saws everywhere. Those big moving spiky things are quite bouncy and depending on where you land, you'll bounce in different directions. This makes it way more complicated to navigate your way through a level and actually makes it very interesting. You can even use the bouncy saws in vertical levels where you try to go up. Make sure to land on top of the saws though, because if you lose the shell, you're in big trouble. Jumping is fun, but double jumping is way better. And sadly, our boy Mario can't do that. Introducing the dry bone shell double jump action. One of the things that is amazing about the shell is the fact that if you hit the ZR button, Mario will hop out of there. So if you do a normal jump and then jump out of the shell in midair, you can now do double jumps. Use this new mechanic by adding multiple shells throughout a stage and force the player to make high jumps or long jumps for that matter. I've seen some people do levels that were using a similar idea but using Yoshi and that's just plain wrong. Cause Yoshi dies and that's not cool. Use a dry bone shell. Cause I'm sure those guys are already dead, it's, it's just a shell so... Uh, anyways. So, I was playing Super Mario World lately and I made it to this part where the ceiling is slowly coming down at you and this made me realize that being stuck in a narrow hallway is something that can truly be cool in Mario levels and the dry bone shell is the perfect item to go with this idea. With the dry bone shell, you can push down on the d-pad to fake your death and turn into a pile of bones. When in that form, nothing can actually hurt you. So what if we made a level into a narrow hallway and put some unavoidable enemies like Banzai Bills? You'd have to get the perfect timing in order to dodge the enemy and without turning back into Mario with the wrong timing and losing all hope of beating the stage. Or how about some fire bars on rails that go left and right? It is as spooky, but the same solution can be applied. There's tons of enemies that go well with this dry bone ability. One of the reasons why tons of people love to use the new Super Mario Bros U game theme is because of the ability to do ground pounds and break platforms and other stuff with it. Hitting switches with your butt is pretty fun, but sadly, not all game themes are born equal. You can't actually do ground pounds in the Mario 1, Mario 3 and Mario World themes. But one of the cool things you can do inside a dry bone shell is to do, well, a ground pound. And while this ground pound may not be as powerful as Mario's butt, as it can't break bricks, you can still create a similar effect by placing a POW block and a donut block underneath it. The idea here is to use the shell to ground pound the POW block to then fall down using the donut block. Going down is not the only thing you can do with this ability though, as you can also use them as switches to destroy obstacles in your path, or even to hit a question block item to free a power up, or to hit some on off switches. There's actually tons of things you can do here. 
The shell alone is pretty cool, but there's a way to combine it with other elements to make some scary levels. The big mushroom is one of my favorite items in the Mario Maker series, as it turns you into a big 8-bit Mario that is so heavy that it breaks blocks when jumping on top of them. And the best thing? You can actually get inside of a dry bone shell as Big Mario! So, my idea here is to have some scary jumps made out of bricks with various obstacles such as cannons, fire bars and saws along the way. When inside the shell, you won't actually break the blocks, so you're good, but if you get hit by an obstacle and lose that shell, then you'll turn back into Big Mario and break the floor and fall down. Combine this with a ground pound switch from earlier at the end of the level to make sure no one cheeses it and you got yourself a scary level where staying inside of the dry bone shell is all that matters. One of the best thing about the Super Mario 3D World theme is the fact that you can just hop on a thwomp and ride it like it's nothing. Sideways thwomp are actually super cool things to use, but sadly, once you leave this game theme, you have to fiddle around to make them work. You can spin jump on top of thwomps in the Super Mario World and U themes, so it makes it a little bit harder, but it's still pretty cool. But sadly, if you go back to Mario 1 and Mario 3 themes, there's nothing you can do. You cannot hop on those things, cause Mario gets hurt as soon as he touches them. That is, if he's not wearing his epic dry bone shell. Yeah, with this shell equipped, you can now ride the thwomps like it's nothing to go left, right and you can even use them to go up high platforms. You can place some obstacles along the way, forcing the player to jump from one thwomp to another. Finally, the thwomps get the love they deserve in all of the game themes. I don't know about you guys, but when I reach an underwater stage in a Mario game, I'm always kind of a little bit disappointed. Not that I hate underwater levels, but they're definitely not my favorites. I thought about it for hours upon hours and I came to the realization that I dislike them because Mario doesn't swim like a mermaid while underwater. If only there was an item like the frog suit to fix that big problem. Oh, but there is! The dry bone shell, duh! Once you enter a dry bone shell, you immediately get full control of Mario underwater. You can easily move in any direction and quite fast too. It is reminiscent of the submarine level in Super Mario Land on Game Boy. And to make this even better, have Mario get a fire flower and suddenly you're a war machine underwater that can cook all of the cheap cheeps on his way. Now, this is how you make an underwater stage epic. Mario's main way to attack enemies is to jump on their heads, and while this is pretty cool, there's still a couple enemies he cannot jump on, mostly those with spikes and the boos. Those latter interest us for this idea, because boos have one special ability that other enemies don't have. They fly and follow you around, so having a dry bone shell now allows you to jump and bounce on them. And this is especially cool if you want to create levels where you need them to bounce to the next part, or simply a platform that's out of reach, and where you need to get a boo to follow you back to said platform to then bounce on it and reach the goal. That'd be pretty cool. You know that I enjoy to have at least one idea that revolves around original ways to defeat bosses. Well, this one is pretty simple to figure out. Bosses have this epic ability to be able to walk on spikes and go through saws and other hazards. What if you put the bosses in unreachable areas and have to do some sort of little parkour using the dry bone shell to then reach the battle arena and make it spiky so that if you get hit by the mad lad and lose your shell, you're in big trouble. Everybody says fighting bosses in this game is easy. Well, here's a way to make it harder. Well, there's actually a thing that you might not know about the dry bone shell. I don't know why I'm telling you this, because it kind of ruins my previous idea. But did you know that you can actually one hit kill all of the bosses with a dry bone shell ground pound? Yep, Boom Boom, Bowser, Bowser Jr. can all be defeated in a split second. 
While knowing that info makes boss fights far easier, it now allows you to combine multiple bosses together without being afraid of people calling it an enemy spam level. You'd still have to dodge the fireballs and the different attacks, but once you know the secret technique, you'd kill the bosses super easily. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and to hit the bell to know when I post a new video and smash that like button if you enjoyed this series. Thanks a lot to my BBQ members for supporting the show and if you want to join them in the credit over there, well hit that join button or click the link in the description below. Tap the cards on screen right now for more videos and I will see you in the next one.